You are listening to the Avocast, and this is the weekly bulletin. You are now listening to the Avocast, the student voice of CCC. This is Avocast. Stay tuned. Welcome back to this week's Avocast, your Contra Costa College news source. You are tuning in to the student voice of Contra Costa College with Jessica Suico and Andrew Reedon. On October 11th, when the North Bay fires were getting worse, Contra Costa College Gymnasium turned into a designated evacuation center by the Red Cross. Blankets, pallets of food, water, and 325 cots were there to accompany evacuees. The wildfires pushed through Napa, Sonoma, and Solano counties, leaving a trail of death and destruction in its path. West Contra Costa County social worker Teresa Gonzalez said she received a call later October 11th about helping at the Red Cross Shelter Evacuation Center at CCC. Wow, that's great, Jessica. It's great to see that the college is trying to help people in need. The controversial holiday of Columbus Day actually happened uh, while the evacuations were happening. Uh, Discussion on whether to keep Columbus Day continued as the holiday passed on Monday, October 9th. Many are in favor of discarding the infamous holiday to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day instead. Student Oscar Martinez is noted as saying, We commemorate the natives, the real Americans. Two-thirds of them were murdered or forced to assimilate in order to compensate for the American way. On the other side of the argument are those who believe that getting rid of Columbus Day would allow the atrocities he committed to be forgotten, much as uh, the atrocities of Ponce de Leon are forgotten. That is interesting information, Andrew, about Columbus Day and involving students on campus. But did you know that over the past year, the Contra Costa College Associated Student Union, ASU, has undergone a shift within its legislative body and advisor, opening new opportunities for growth and success of student life. ASU Director of Public Relations, Addie Bryan, said, We are stronger and more accountable this semester. It is a huge learning experience last semester. We have found a safe ground for events and organizations, Brian said. The ASU, which is responsible for representing the student body of both CCC and Middle College High School, aims to boost the student atmosphere through events and discussions. This semester, they have held events promoting suicide awareness, Hispanic heritage, and club rush. One of the other events the ASU is responsible for is the Suicide Prevention Month event, Uh, You Are Not Alone. Local health and emergency officials came together in Fireside Hall on Monday, October 9th to discuss the problem of youth suicide. The event was intended to raise awareness for the resources people have if they are contemplating suicide. Anyone contemplating suicide should talk to a counselor or call the National Suicide Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. That is great, Andrew, that the college is getting involved with youth suicide prevention. But have you heard about the United Faculty is seeking students to fill paid internships and volunteers for a variety of different political activities and opportunities sponsored by the United Faculty? Contra Costa Community College District Governing Board Trustee Gary Walker Roberts has experienced the program firsthand. I wouldn't know how to do my job as a district trustee if I didn't go through the internship, Walker Roberts said. UF interns and volunteers engage with the student bodies at all three district colleges, he said. They encourage the students to register to vote, discuss the political landscape, and to understand issues like bond measures to examine how legislation affects students and taxpayers. In sports news, a young student and soccer player has quite a story. Freshman Andrea Vasquez is making strides on the Contra Costa College soccer team after recovering from a childhood injury. Andrea broke her hip when she lived in El Salvador, which ended her seven-year passion of playing soccer. Since she has come to CCC, she has set a high bar of self-discipline for herself and succeeded as a result. Comet's Lady Volleyball team was in a losing streak on three games on an away contest on October 11th. Losing in the Bay Valley Conference 3-9 overall, Losing 1-6, lost in three sets to Los Medanos College, 12-6 overall, losing 3-0, and and losing 7-1 to to BBC. Contra Costa College was outplayed in all three sets, scoring only 14 points in sets 1 and 2, and just 12 in the third set. Comet coach Christy Terranaro said, This game wasn't our best game. We had some really good touches, but we dug ourselves into a hole and we couldn't get out. And this concludes this week's Avocast, student voice of Contra Costa College with Jessica Suico and Andrew Whedon. 
be sure to tune in next time. Subscribe and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Snapchat. Questions, concerns, or emotional reactions, shoot us an email at accent.theadvocate at gmail.com. <laughs>